Now, former Baker County Corrections officer facing charges of felony sexual misconduct with an inmate could face even more trouble. 28-year-old Brian Robinson faces now first-degree felony sexual battery charges as well. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignon explains if convicted on all charges, Robinson could face decades in prison. While Robinson's family is trying to come up with the money to get him out of jail, his attorney is trying to get the case moved from Baker County to another location after receiving information from potential witnesses. Who's your attorney? Nearly three years ago, Brian Robinson was a rookie corrections officer at the Baker County Detention Center who was accused of sexual misconduct with an immigration detainee. At the time, federal investigators chose not to file federal charges against Robinson. His attorney, Nadia Simmons, says Robinson was still not in the clear. A year later, Baker County decided to file charges after the federal investigation. The charges were sexual misconduct between a corrections officer and an inmate, which is a third degree felony. But recently, while Robinson was out of jail on bond awaiting his day in court, state attorney Brian Kramer reviewed the case after taking office in January and recommended additional charges be filed against Robinson. The highest and most appropriate charges for trial were the charges that were listed. Those charges listed on this warrant for Robinson's re-arrest included sexual battery. The charges were based on statements by the complainant and DNA evidence. Robinson's attorney says there are legitimate concerns about how and who collected the DNA. He also says potential witnesses have come forward and said Robinson's superior officer who resigned after Robinson was arrested had been dating the complainant after she was released from custody. Was subsequently roommates are living with the alleged victim um, and his Resigning after these facts come to light shows that there clearly are some issues and conflicts with having venue in Baker County going forward in this case. The state attorney would not comment on the allegations of conflict of interest involving that other officer. Would you be open to a change of venue? It isn't for me to decide whether or not venue would be changed, and I would seriously doubt if the court would be even remotely interested in what my opinion is on that matter. Kramer says the court won't consider a change of venue based on allegations, but will consider it if there's a problem finding a jury. As for Simmons' client, who awaits his day in court. He's holding up pretty fine. He's dealing with it as best as he can. It's also worth mentioning that we did not name that other officer because he has not been charged with a crime. And although he resigned after Robinson's arrest, it's still unclear if he himself is also under investigation. Now, we also did reach out to the Baker County Sheriff's Office for comment, but they declined. Eric Avignon, Channel 4, The Local Station.